Previously, the Golden Dragon ruled the Goblin maps, but now there is a new boss in Clash of Clans. 15 new Goblin maps. I am going to beat them all in order to teach you exactly how to do the same, starting with Go to Bat. And you might have figured, but you want to take a bat spell for this one, too, in fact. The first five maps are intended for Town Hall 13 and above players. Take a bat spell and place it to the most southern scattershot and do this either side. They will slowly take down all of these. Now using goblins to the right hand side, just spread them around a little bit. You will pop a lot of royal ghosts and you can use an archer to lure them to the side of the map. Just continue to do this, they will lose their invisibility. Once you've lured them to the side, one baby dragon will take them all out and you can notice our bats have indeed wiped out the scatter shot. Queen to the southern area of the base, followed by five healers, and you want to use two balloons onto the archer tower to the left hand side. As the queen steps around to this right hand side mortar, you want to use a rage spell on her, followed by a wall breaker to set off the giant bomb. And then as she steps back around, you can use two wall breaks in order to get through. Essentially use as many as necessary. Sometimes the Tesla wipe them out, as you've seen there. Now across to this right hand side, we can use an ice golem, the royal champion, and then just spread the bowlers, the witches, the grand warden, and the king on the outside, followed by a bunch of wall breakers. Try and save onto a couple of them, and as you push into the base, you can just wait a few seconds. The king will go to the outside, your bowlers and witches will hopefully go to the middle. You can now send in three wall breakers to try and punch the bowlers and witches through king ability and then the grand warden ability as everything is moving into the center your queen is fine rage over this area and you can use a heal an earthquake and you might as well freeze as well honestly you will crush the base using this method i have not used clan castle troops or a siege machine in this one you could obviously use whatever you want spread the rest of your troops in feel free to use the freeze any of the hero abilities first map down a bunch of beautiful loot and that's always a positive about the goblin maps these ring bases can be a little bit tricky, but I have figured out how you can get it every time. A rage spell on this right hand side in between the air defense and the cannon, three balloons to the air defense, one to the cannon, couple of minions and then an e-drag there as well. You will wipe out a bunch of the defenses, the e-drag will move through and chain a lot of the buildings on the outside, meaning it sets pathing for the rest of your army. We're going to do something similar down the bottom here. Rage in between the air defense and the mortar, three to the air defense, one to the mortar, two minions on the outside with an e-dragon. Again, just trying to create that pathing for us. And there is no timer in the goblin map, so feel free to take your time or do it as quick as you want. We're going to use two ice golems followed by the king and the log launcher super important to get that log launcher in relatively quick a wall breaker and just wait on the valkyries a little bit you can get the warden in actually once the log launcher is about to get through the middle area just spam your valkyries in they will move into the middle of the base there you can use the king ability and the warden ability alongside a rage the valkyries will sprint through the inside of the base i actually forgot about the royal champion feel free to send that in and then send in the heal spells once the warden ability wears off i like to just spread them either side side to the right and the left because sometimes the valkyries run wherever they want to but ideally they would stay inside those heal spells and they just rip through the rest of the base the freeze and the rc ability you can use however you wish if you want to take clan castle troops that will help you take down this base even easier and obviously even quicker but i can't wait to get down to the new boss in clash of clans trust me it is even more daunting than the golden dragon but one map at a time. Suspicious Gap. I can see why it's suspicious. You will need your Grand Warden on air for this one. Start with an Electro Dragon at the 12 o'clock area. We're then going to send in three balloons in this gap. One, two, three. A Rage Spell, then drop all of your E-Dragons, your balloons, the Stone Slammer, and the Warden with the Warden ability as fast as possible. A Rage Spell to the left, the right, and the bottom. And get ready as the Warden ability wears off. You want to freeze the Scatter Shots and the multi target infernos but look at how quick this base goes down you can then send in the king and the queen wherever the stone slammer goes and the royal champion to the opposite side alongside the baby dragon you do still have a freeze spell unfortunately i didn't get down the scatter shots 
or the single target inferno on this one normally you do but that is what i will be using the freeze for essentially use it for whatever you need rc ability let's freeze the single and the scatter and just look at how much we have there is a lot of royal ghosts to the bottom so be careful you might want to use the king and queen ability nice and early but with that method spamming in the e dragons with that early warden ability again it's easy, but they certainly get a lot harder, trust me. Case and point. This base is a lot more difficult. We will be using the Siege Barracks and the Ground Grand Warden. But this is one of the final maps for Town Hall 13 before we start with the Town Hall 14 maps. Grand Warden on this right-hand side with five healers. Now, since there is no time in the Goblin maps, you can actually utilize Warden Walks to your advantage, and you will see that in the next map. Let me hydrate real quick whilst he does his thing. Okay, once he takes that cannon down, we want to use the Ice Golem, Siege Barracks, two Wizards, and the Archer Queen to this right-hand side. Now, I am taking Clan Castle troops with this one. Earthquake, Earthquake. I was a little bit late on the Earthquakes, actually. King, all of the Valkyries in from this right-hand side with the Jump Spell to give them access through King ability, Grand Warden ability. You want to try and protect everything. Rage spell through the center so the Valks can get through the base as fast as possible. Forgot about that Royal Champion again, so let's send her in. Heal spell, heal spell again. Just send them across to two different sides with the freeze on the multi-target Infernos. You can use your balloons to try and snipe any of the outside defenses. So in that case, the Archer Tower. Now, Valkyries ran on the outside for me here, but as long as you have set the funnel, you should actually be pretty good. Let's Let's use the RC ability. There's a lot of skeleton traps in these goblin maps. There we go. And I have found that the Valkyries, whilst they're a little bit unpredictable, they are so good at taking down the skeletons, particularly at Town Hall 13 when you do not have the Electro Titan. So hence why I like to use them. You could have sent in the Earthquake spells, the jump spells a little bit quicker than me, but we did indeed get it done. That's how you take down this map. And now we have the final Town Hall 13 map. There's five for Town Hall 13, five for 14, and five for 15. Grand Warden at the very north of the base with five healers and yeah you can really just sit let him do his thing just before this cannon goes down deploy one balloon and then two others it's spell timing for this warden walk is huge because we are actually going to charge all of the way to the eagle artillery Okay, I gotta start focusing back up here. After he takes down this multi-target Inferno, he will take down the cannon, and after that is when you use the Rage. He's going to jump over the wall. You want to use the Rage to hit the Warden and the Healers. So the Rage is literally just behind the wall. There we go. We hit the Healers. We hit the Warden. He's taking a lot of damage, but as long as you get the timing of that Rage, you are good. Then get ready with an Invisibility. Now, the Invisibility spell, you may or may not actually need. See, his health is slowly going down. You can sometimes get through this without the invisibility but let me use it just in case you need to use the invisibility you can now be patient and waiting until he takes the eagle artillery i know he's literally wiping out most of the base when the eagle is around about ready to go down we can start baby dragon king queen siege barracks miners moving in once the miners are in hog riders oh, then the royal champion and we can use the heel right next to the second inferno so that it overlaps where the scatter shot is as well let the king ability go off automatically and then wait a second grand warden ability rage spell right in the center and they're going to power through a lot of this as the warden ability wears off use a freeze on the scatter and the two multis a another rage another heal another freeze notice the valkyrie i used to the bottom in order to get as many skellies as possible the hybrid will start to move up towards the top as it does use three archers to the right hand side and basically as long as you use the spells how i did in the middle of the base there you're good you can freeze those two inferno towers and the scatter shot continue to do so and then use the hero abilities again as necessary five maps out of the 15 in and they are essentially the town hall 13 ones Titanic is the first Town Hall 14 map before we move on to the five Town Hall 15 maps, which includes Mama's Madhouse, the new boss in Clash of Clans. But for this first map, we now have access to the Flame Flinger, and this is something we will be utilizing massively. We're actually going to start with the Grand Warden, make sure he is on ground, and you want the Electro Owl on the Warden. So place him right at six o'clock, followed by the five healers and the Flame Flinger 
coming a slightly to the left, you can then use three wall breakers to try and bust in alongside a Valkyrie. Try and get that Valkyrie in relatively quick so that it helps to take down the Skellies so that your Warden does not take too much damage. If the Valkyrie goes down, you probably need another one. So do just send in however many Valkyries are necessary to make sure your Warden ability does not go off. We can wait just a few seconds now. Let's send in one more Valkyrie for good measure. A couple of wall breakers on this right hand side. It is good to get through that area because once the Expo goes down, send the King, all of your Valkyries, the Queen, RC, and all of the balloons at the right. King ability, wait a couple of seconds. Grand Warden ability just before the Eagle Artillery fires in. A Rage spell to the right, a Rage spell to the left in order to power the balloons through the center. And as the Warden ability wears off, use a healing spell right over the multi-target Inferno. You do have to watch your Valkyries. So notice how some of them have gone to the middle. I'm going to use a healing spell in the middle. We have lots of them for this army and you want to freeze any of the major splash. So the Eagle and the multi on the back. Let's use another healing spell up top there. We can then use another healing spell over that area of splash. We can freeze it if we wish. Again, as per the maps for Town Hall 13, you can use your hero abilities. Some of them are harder than others. This is the easiest Town Hall 14 one. Cold Flame. Important to note for this one, you want to have lightning spells in your clan castle. Ideally, if your clan castle is leveled up, you can have the max level lightning spells. Again, Flame Flinger to the left hand side of the base. This is going to be a running theme at Town Hall 14 because it is so powerful. It will wipe that entire area out. To the right hand side, you want to use an earthquake and all of your lightning on top of the border of the scatter shot. If you're struggling to get all of the infernos, just use five lightning. Earthquake, one, two, three, four, five. And then if you miss one of them, you can use that final lightning. Ironically, I missed one here, but sometimes that happens. You're still going to be good. Once the flinger takes down the inferno, Inferno's on the left hand side. Start with your Warden at 6 o'clock and the healers. Basically, this is to tank the scatter. So you can send in the war breaks. Then we're going to send the troops as fast as possible. All of them in here. So the Titans, Pekka, Yeti, King, Queen, RC at the 6 o'clock area. Your balloons. King ability, once the Barbarians spawn, Grand Warden ability as the Eagle Fire comes down. You can use a Rage over the top of the Builder Huts here, try and punch through the wall a little bit faster, and your RC should peel off to the right-hand side. Do keep an eye on that single target Inferno if you have missed it. You might have to freeze or just use the RC ability. That will get it down. A Jump Spell up here to access the back area of the base. You can freeze the Builder Huts and then freeze the single target Infernos and the Scatter Shot. Minion, I like to use wherever there is a building left over, so perhaps on the right-hand side here. But again, this method with the Flame Flinger will get you that three-star queen ability. Let's just use the wizard just because it filled up the army composition for you and you never know when that might come in handy. Three stars, nice and easy. Corner case. Again, we will use the Flame Flinger down to this right-hand side. You want to push it as far to the edge of the map as possible, but in between those two small bushes. The Flame Flinger will take out both of the Archer Towers, both of the Scatter Shots, and the single target inferno. This creates incredible pathing. Whilst that is happening, over to this area, right in the center of these two inferno towers, the earthquake and your six lightning. But do this fast. Earthquake, six lightning. If you don't deploy them instantly, the builder might start repairing buildings. All of this is going to help create pathing for the dragons. Now, I haven't mentioned so far, but the pets are relatively standard at Town Hall 14. This will be the assignment for all five of the maps. When that scatter shot is about to go down, so notice it's about half health, we can move over to this right hand side. We use the Titan, Wizard, King, Queen, over to the bottom. Ice Golem, spread out the three Valkyries and the Royal Champion. You are going to wait until all three of those Tesla go down. And this is so that the dragons are forced into the base itself. So there we go. Use the balloons, dragons, Grand Warden, King ability, Grand Warden ability, both Rage spells side by side. And since we have that pathing, look at the dragons. Rage spell leading into this final section, we can freeze the single and the eagle artillery. I tried a lot of different troops for this one, but since there are so many skeleton traps, I found that troops with splash 
For example, the Dragons, Valkyries, Electro Titans ripped apart a lot of these bases. RC ability, Queen ability, swag them if you wish. <laughs> I can't believe how many Dragons survived that. Maybe that was the easiest Town Hall 14. Path to Pain. This reminds me of one of the earlier Goblin maps with the clan castle in the center. Now, since there is no splash covering this, I like to drop four skeleton spells right on top. You can actually take this down in as little as two skeleton traps, skeleton spells, sorry, but sometimes even when I used three, I didn't get it. So four will guarantee that you take that down and you don't have to worry about the defending Electro Titans. Queen to this right hand side with a couple of balloons, healers, and then we can just wait a few seconds. On this map, it doesn't matter if your queen goes one way, all of your other troops go the other. If they all go together, you'll be good. Let's use the wall breakers on the right hand side here to nope. give us access, or I thought it was going to give us access. Use the Valkyries whenever the queen is getting targeted by the skellies. And actually, let's move into this right hand side. We'll let the queen go left. Everything in Titans, Balloons, Grand Warden, Royal Champion, use that queen ability, and the Battle Drill if you have access to it. King ability, again, a few seconds, Warden ability, and you can rage to take advantage of that. I am using the battle drill, but if you don't have access to that, just use any siege machine for this one. Use a heal over to this far side when you have a lot of these splash defenses. Freeze whatever defenses are necessary. For the most part, you should be able to just freeze the core defenses. So for example, right here where we have the single inferno and the multis. Let's just do a little bit of swag on that clan castle. Oh, I missed a Tesla at the top. Good job there's no time on these goblin maps. There we are though, another three star in the bag. I don't know if they designed it this way, but the fifth map of every recommended level is the hardest. Flame Flinger at the six o'clock area of the base, lightning spells in that clan castle, and you want to lightning the three builder huts behind the scatter. This isn't that necessary, but that scatter shot takes forever to take down if you don't do that. You can now go with the Grand Warden to the left of the Flame Flinger and the Healers. Get ready with a Rage spell, but what we're going to do is pop a lot of the Skellies first. So a Barbarian to the left there pops all of the Skellies, Rage the Grand Warden, and then send in a Valkyrie to help get rid of all of those Skeletons. Now notice I have a lot of free spells. That single target Inferno will lock on to the Grand Warden, but you're going to freeze it approximately three times. Let it beam up a touch and then freeze it. If you're not good with the timing, just freeze it earlier rather than later. So there we go. Just freeze it again. Do not let that Warden ability go off. I will freeze it a third time just in case you need to, but in this case, I probably didn't. Once the Expo goes down and that single target Inferno, we are good to go. Ice Golem, all of the Titans, the rest of the Valkyries, King, Queen, and use the RC across to the left-hand side. Rage, King ability, wait a few seconds. Just as the Eagle Artillery is coming down, press that Warden ability, and then we can use another Rage rage moving into the middle of the base here. Actually forgot to send in my loons. Let's send them in at the left hand side. And you want to use your freeze spells onto the eagle and the single. Try and freeze both of them and just repeat this again. As you can see the queen, this often happens. She will peel down to the bottom area there where the eagle and the single target inferno is. Just keep an eye on the single target inferno. If it locks onto the queen, use the ability. There's the RC ability going off as well. And I would argue this one is a little bit easier than the Town Hall 13 5th map, but now that we move up to Town Hall 15, it does get a little bit harder. But we've also got some more tricks up our sleeve. The final five maps. One million gold and elixir for monolithic. And I think you know what this map has. A bunch of monoliths. In terms of pets, you can pop Diggy on the Royal Champion, but feel free to leave the other compositions the same. I do have the Super Wall Breaker for this one. I have not used used super troops up until this point, but I feel for Town Hall 15, most people will have the super wall breaker and it makes these maps so much easier. Starting with the nine balloons down to this six o'clock air defense, send that, the Grand Warden and the Blimp. So let's go. All of the balloons, Blimp, Warden, Warden ability. Basically, as the Blimp comes through, pop it just behind this first monolith and use an invisibility spell first. So invisibility, pop the Blimp, count to four, through three, Four, another invisibility. Once the first troops have gone and you see the super archers fire, use the two clones, the rage, and then another invisibility. Keep the super archers invisible. They will take down every single monolith. The super archer blimp is incredible at Town Hall 15, and you're good from this point. 
as long as you follow up correctly. Queen and the healers, as she moves across to this right-hand side, wall break in. Feel free to use a Valkyrie or maybe two just to speed up this process. Then use the Titans. King, Pekka, RC, wall break this second layer. And what you can see is that the queen walks into the middle of the base. If the titans go on the outside, it's not the end of the world. Use a wall break to help get the king into this top section. And sometimes you can use a wall break just there to help get the queen up there as well but it doesn't matter you have more than enough troops as long as you get that super archer blimp down you are going to be golden quick tip for the super archer blimp as well whilst i said count to four just turn the super archers invisible sooner rather than later if you need to but obviously if you get the optimal timing you can see how easy this base will be raging headache and this one did give me a headache the first time i looked at it <laughs> all of those raged up expos this is how you do it with the flame flinger all of the way to the left hand side like as far as you can don't worry if you accidentally press off the map and it tells you it's too far you have to outrange that archer tower you can just restart the map if you misplace it wait until the air defense goes down you can see it is just about to then we can go with the grand warden up top here to be honest you could probably swap out the electro owl maybe put frosty or even the poison lizard here but it's really Really not that necessary once the air defense goes down wall break in this area all of the titans valks king pekka queen and the royal champion nine balloons send the other three wall breakers king ability the warden ability might go off automatically but you do want to press it to protect the wall breakers all of the barbs use the rage freeze these expos as the warden ability is wearing off a heal another rage as you move through freezing the expos again might be getting a theme here once we get to this bottom area another rage and then and actually we only have one more freeze but i like to freeze whatever expo i can when the town hall goes down just turn that bit invisible because it can protect a couple of the titans the healers etc and then just monitor where you are at so we can use a wizard on the cannon here i will say a lot of the time i have had a lot more survive than this but i guess that's what happens when you try and commentate teach you and try and attack at the same time look at diggy still going strong why is he not going for the defense is he going for a wall for oh because his target is the same as the hero's target and he can't stun a wall queen ability let's get that done i want to take on the new Goblin Maps boss. I do not like the poison spell towers. So the first time I looked at Toxic Town Square, I instantly thought, can I lightning all of that? And in fact, you can. So take an earthquake, place it right on top of the center of that poison tower and six lightning spells. Once you have done that, down go the air defenses. Was that actually only five lightning spells? It was, right? Have I miscalculated this whole time? I think I have. Earthquake, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it is! <laughs> you only need five lightning spells. You could take a rage spell if you want and just five lightning spells for each of them with the earthquake. Queen down to that air defense. Once the air defense goes down, you can use the five healers. E-Dragon onto this gold storage and then spread out the balloons. Try and take down all of these Tesla. You might keep clicking the outside of the map and cannot deploy the troops as I did. But what you are doing here is creating the funnel so that everything has to go to this right hand side once you have done that all of the titans king warden royal champion wait on the battle drill a touch if you wish because you can send that from the outside of the base these other troops were basically just fillers so it doesn't matter too much king ability once the poison hits warden ability this is where you could use a rage spell by the way let's actually use the two lightning right in the center there why not but the battle drill and the royal champion should go into that central area if you use the king ability and the warden through the first poison spell tower you can then just overwhelm the back end poison spell tower try to use your hero abilities wisely to get in towards the center of the base if you want you could actually take two super wall breakers if you're struggling with that because i've got more than enough troops you could just use them here to punch a hole in the outside wall and then the inner wall towards those multi-target infernos. Toxic Town Square, good night. <sighs> Not even a match for my lightning and earthquake spells. I love the name of some of these goblin maps. First, take two archers to the left-hand side here to this gold storage. And then you want to use all of your balloons, the battle blimp, the warden, and the warden ability. I hope you practice that super archer timing. Invisibility behind this single target inferno. Pop the blimp. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three 
three and four. Once the super archers are firing, the war breakers are gone, clone and rage them. Notice how the archers I deployed pulled all of the skeletons. That was the purpose of that. Sometimes I have managed to take both of those expos, both of the eagles. If you don't though, not the end of the world. Queen at the bottom with the healers. You can go a Pekka onto the dark elixir storage. All of the titans, the Pekka, Valkyries. Sometimes I like to send the king and the RC to the other side of where the uh, titans go. Now it just happened that the queen has peeled off to the right and you will just overpower the rest of this base. The super archer blimp getting the job done again, but the time has come. 14 maps down, one map remains and you know that clash have a trick up their sleeve inside that clan castle. Mama's Madhouse, the final map. 270 stars now available, 2.5 million loot. And there is the clan castle. Let's rip apart this base. I do have the poison lizard on the warden to try and help with that defending boss, but you could stick to the standard pets. This is the most optimal, I feel. Starting at the most northern area of the base. <sighs> Come on, Judo, let's get this done. Rage this top area just behind the Archer Tower with two Electro Titans and the Flame Flinger. Our good old trusty Flame Flinger. We want to take down the Skellies. We want to take down the Scatter Shot and allow our Flame Flinger to tear apart the Archer Towers, the Battle Builder Huts, and this will allow us to drive the main force in towards the center, towards the mama of all bosses. So just wait. You want both archer towers and all of the battle builders down. Now sometimes the flinger, ooh, as you can see, will actually target the rage spell tower. That's not a bad thing because it sets off the invisibility spell towers and then it will redirect to take out the archer tower and the builder hood. Come on. Come on, flame flinger. Oh, it's gonna run out. <laughs> the great. Just start. Wallbreaker, King, Titans, Healers, Pekka, Queen, Warden, RC, Pekka, everything in. There it is, the mama of all bosses. Grand Warden ability. Let's use the skeleton spells either side. We can rage the center again. Ah, poison the Pekka. Ungrateful child, it's down. Freeze the monoliths. Use the invisibility right in the center there. As you charge through, RC ability goes off automatically just as I pressed it. The monolith on the left and side rips apart my attacking Pekka. I think a rage spell rather than these two freezes might have actually been good down the bottom. The Pekka looked easy, but it's because we had so many troops to just rip straight through it. Oh gosh, that monolith. It's starting to do a lot of work. Come on, Queen, what are you doing over to that side? Quickly take it down. I pressed her ability to try and just speed her up. Maybe that was a good call. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, the King and the Titans are down over there anyway. Let's freeze this. Diggy is on the monolith. We're gonna have to freeze it again. We've got to. As long as that monolith goes down, I think we're good. Poison spell tower did fire at the titans. Oh, we've got a couple of skellies, but the queen has the unicorn. Titan will take down the poison spell tower. And the main thing is assuring you have more than enough power to push through the middle and just overwhelm the giant pecker. 2.5 million loot. That is how you beat every single new goblin map. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love this one. Have a good day.